<clears throat> Hello, Chris Fowler here from Warwick Music Group Education Department. This is the third video about creating a buzz um, for your pupil or your child. And we're going to cover a few problems and solutions that you might come up against. The first problem I'd like to speak to you about is probably more likely to happen if you're an experienced brass player, so a teacher or a performer, demonstrating the buzz to a large group of children. Some children may confuse this sound because it's so focused into a singing sound with closed lips, a bit like this. So you might find a bit of this going on. <laughs> it's very difficult to unpick for a smaller child the difference between using the vocal cords and buzzing the lips. However, it's very hard to hum or sing with a closed mouth if you've got a good flow of air. <sighs> So I think if you get the air flowing using method number two, that's probably going to help get rid of that problem should you come across it. The next problem I'm going to talk about is both a problem and the solution itself is another way of getting lips buzzing. So the problem is where children try so hard to get it right that they clamp up their lips completely. Remember, no aperture, no flow, no flow, no buzz, as we spoke about in video number two. So if a child's trying really hard, like, not only is there no flow of air, but the lips are clamped closed. There's no chance that the air pressure can possibly break through that seal and vibrate the lips. What do we do in that situation? Well, let's talk about the aperture, the hole in the lips a little. Basically, the larger the aperture is, the slower the air tends to move and the lower the note is. That's how we select different notes, different pitches on a brass instrument without changing the length of the instrument. Let me show you. The first thing I'm going to do is buzz some different pitches on my mouthpiece. So I'm controlling the aperture by tensioning and relaxing my lips. I'm now going to do the same thing in a Peebo Mini and let's see what happens to the pitches then. I'm going to keep the instrument the same length. So you can hear that as I make the aperture smaller, I make the air go faster, and larger, so the air moves more slowly, we get a different pitch out of the instrument. So let's take that knowledge and solve a problem of lips being very tight and tense, but also explore another way of getting the buzz going. So one of the things I do when pupils have a very tight set of lips and the air can't pass between them is break the seal. And I've got a few things here that I use to break the seal. So here is quite a small straw from a drinks carton, one of those ones that you use to pierce the carton. So it's a bit like playing a high note. So if you get your pupil to hold this between their lips and blow air through it, We've created a small aperture and quite a good but fast flow of air. Look what happens when I release, when I pull the straw from between my lips. <coughs> yep, we're getting a fantastic high buzz. I've got some more straws here. 
Here's a kind of medium sized one. Very interestingly, already you can hear on the straw the pitch is lower. <laughs> on an even bigger straw from the famous fast food outlet, you can hear that that's a lower sound. <laughs> So by using these three different straws, we can encourage three different kinds of apertures and three different kinds of airflow, which correspond nicely to our three pitches on the instrument. Let's see if you can hear it. And on here. <laughs> So using these straws is a great training tool. Also, I have here my secret weapon. So this is a crystal style ball pen with the cap and the ink and writing head removed, which gives us um, at this end a kind of funnel effect. This is great. If you can hold it between your lips, Can you see how hard my muscles are working to hold that? If you've got a pupil who's got a clamped embouchure, nothing will come out. This will do the trick. Great, great accessory for any teacher. Really good. So the straw method. Hold the straw. Blow. Remove the straw and keep blowing. A few hints and tips for getting the best out of your first buzz. Thanks for listening.